Recently, both Rosé and Jisoo stole all the spotlight at Paris Fashion Week, showcasing their impressive superstar power. While Rosé comfortably interacted with top global stars, Jisoo left Hollywood's A-listers like Robert Pattinson and Jennifer Lawrence in awe as they witnessed her astonishing influence and popularity at the event. If that wasn't exciting enough, fans screamed their lungs out as they saw vampire Robert Pattinson and fairy Jisoo seemingly engage in adorable interaction at the Dior exhibition Jadora event shortly afterward. Fans are extremely excited about the meeting between Jisoo and Rob, and they are now pleading with this guy to share the picture of them together, as he undoubtedly has the best angle. Meanwhile, after their glamorous presence at the Fashion Week, Jisoo and Rose seem to be extending their stay in Paris due to personal schedules. On September 27th, while Rosé was spotted hastily leaving her hotel, Jisoo took the time to attend a cozy birthday party for Dior's PR manager, Matilda Favier, along with her family. However, before Matilda's celebration, Jisoo was spotted spending five hours in the late evening at the iconic Ritz Hotel where Rosé was staying. While many speculate that Jisoo used this time to be with Rosé, some other fans believe that Jisoo switched hotels from Le Bristol to the Ritz. These fans pointed out that the hotel switch was for her upcoming schedule with Cartier, as it's been revealed that Jisoo met with Cartier's managing director, Laurent Fenu, on the same day. What do you think about it? Meanwhile, in less than one day, Lisa is set to make a historic debut at the Crazy Horse Cabaret. Despite the negative feelings surrounding this highly controversial performance, it seems to carry a significance beyond just being a mere show. Recently, the previous interview between Andre Dysonberg, Crazy Horse's general manager of cabaret creation and brands, and Elle magazine resurfaced, revealing more about Lisa's bold decision. In the interview, Andre Dysonberg revealed Lisa's great passion for the show. The general manager had nothing but praise for Lisa's professionalism when it comes to performing. She also revealed that they started rehearsing for the project in July last year when the girls performed at Stade de France. According to Andre, Lisa would not have a repertoire of her own but would join the show's dancers. She will portray a crazy dancer throughout the show. Elle magazine also revealed, Lisa will perform those already present in the cabaret repertoire, along with the rest of the troupe. It's clear that this is Lisa's way of challenging herself with something new. And of course, her black pink sisters, Jisoo and Rosé, are sure not to miss her first performance at Crazy Horse, scheduled for 2.30 a.m. on September 29th, KST. I'm glad to see Lisa living her best life. Meanwhile, amidst the ongoing contract renegotiations between the Blackpink members and YG on September 28th, Naver News exclusively reported that the debut of Baby Monster might be postponed until the end of the fall season, November. Accordingly, Yang Hyun-suk attended the last hearing of his ongoing appeal trial at the Seoul High Court building on September 27th. The Seoul High Court is expected to issue a verdict on November 8th. The exclusive report from Naver News suggests that the debut of Baby Monster and the announcement of Blackpink's contract renewal will depend significantly on this decision. What do you think about it?